Right, record rainfall and warm temperatures are becoming all too familiar for parts of the North Island at the moment. But what will its impact be on our ecosystem? Experts warn these conditions could prove ideal for new species of mosquitoes to establish themselves here, increasing the risk for tropical diseases and outbreaks like dengue fever or malaria. We're now going to speak to entomologist uh, Morgan Merian, who is with us this morning, to help explain what might happen as a result of the humidity, the tropical temperatures we're experiencing. Uh, Morgan, welcome to the program. Hello. <laughs> First, Thank you for having me. Great to have you. First of all, do we have anything? Do we have dengue fever here at the moment? Is there, are there any of these tropical diseases that are actually here already? or is it something that we need to be vigilant to stop happening? Luckily for us, the mosquitoes which are uh, transmitting these diseases are not currently in New Zealand. These are the Aedes albopictus and Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, and they're not here. So we're very lucky, and <laughs> but we should be more careful because, as you said, parts of New Zealand are becoming hotter and wetter, and that makes it a very suitable habitat for these mosquitoes to, if they get here, establish a population, and that's when outbreaks could happen. So how could they get there? What is the means by which they would be most likely to arrive? And how many would you need to establish a population? Yeah, so at the moment, most of our incursions happen through our cargo, so our ports, our airports, uh, the ships. Uh, from the literature, most of it seems to be coming from the used tyre industry, uh, where you've got stagnant water that stays in there, and then the females will lay their eggs, and that's where the larvae are. Uh, so if that gets here, then the mosquitoes can just establish a population, and if they, they'll just feast on any human blood, really. They breed really easily, so any household containers they find themselves very at home in urban settings so are you saying it could take just one male and female to come here to establish a population Pretty much, yes. Most mosquitoes are restricted by the cold, so they don't really do well below 10 degrees. But as we've said, uh, with, our, with our winters getting milder, our climate is getting hotter, it could just provide the perfect environment for a population to establish. What would the outcome be if, um, you know, whether it's malaria or whether it's dengue fever or whatever, what sort of outcome would that have on, on us here, on our population? It could be quite bad. So these specific mosquitoes um, transmit dengue, but not just dengue, there's also Zika, there's chikungunya, there's yellow fever. So they transmit a whole host of um, viruses and outbreaks could be very bad because for most of these viruses, we don't have um, great treatment or accessible vaccines. Fascinating. Um, thank you so much for being with us. This is a really interesting area of study. How did you get into it? Um, I just love all insects, uh, including mos mosquitoes. I know most people don't really like them for biting us, but actually they're really important pollinators and they do a whole lot for our ecosystems. They're uh, food for many of our animals in New Zealand. And most of our endemic species of mosquitoes are actually really good and don't bite humans. They have evolved on bird blood and seal blood and they've got fascinating life histories. So. <laughs> That's interesting. So where do the ones come from that bite humans and how do we stop them <laughs> from coming? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> most of these are coming from tropical countries, so Africa and Asia. Uh, the ones that have evolved here obviously have not been around humans as long as the other ones in other countries. <laughs> so those are the ones that we need to watch out for. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to, if you want to stop yourself from getting bitten this summer, what, what do you do? What do you tell people? <laughs> I use a uh, insect repellent. I cover up, so uh, wear long sleeves. Um, <laughs> I'm particularly susceptible to mosquitoes, so I, I do try and stay away and really cover up, try and avoid dark colours. Um, sadly, some people are more attracting to them. <laughs> yeah, do, is, have, we, have we figured out why yet? Um, I, I'm, I'm the one that gets bitten, my partner's not. See, my partner used to get bitten, and then yeah. once we got together... He's fine. It's me that they come after. Do we yet know, have any idea why that happens? 
Yeah, absolutely. There's been a range of studies and it's still an ongoing topic of research, but it seems to be a combination of our sweat, of the microbial community on our skin, which is different from person to person, uh, something to do with our blood as well, and just the way that we smell and how much carbon dioxide we expel. So all of that creates a concoction that just seems irres uh, irresistible to some of these mosquitoes. And to a lot of people as well. Morgane, thank you so much for being with us. <laughs> Morgan, a Marian entomologist um, with a fascinating discussion about insects.